Let's balance the equation for KMnO4 plus HCl. This is potassium permanganate plus hydrochloric acid. This is a difficult equation to balance. So I've already counted the atoms up. The only thing really to be careful about is we have one chlorine here, two here, and two here. So we have a total of five chlorine atoms. Make sure you count those up correctly or this is even harder to balance. I think what I want to do is I have the Cl2 by itself. So when I'm balancing this, I see I have Cl2 by itself. So when I change this coefficient here, it won't change the number of hydrogens, oxygens, manganese atoms, or potassium atoms. So we're going to leave chlorine for last when we balance this equation. Let's just start with the oxygen atoms. We could put a 4 here in front of the H2O. So 1 times 4, that gives us 4 oxygen atoms. Those are balanced. 2 times 4, that'll give us 8 hydrogen atoms. Let's just put an 8 in front of the hydrochloric acid. 1 times 8, that gives us 8. We've balanced those. And then 1 times 8, that gives us 8 chlorine atoms. So we're close. It's just the chlorine atoms. We could say 1 plus 2 plus some number is going to equal 8. And if we put that as our coefficient here, this equation will be balanced. So 3 plus 5, that'll equal 8. So I need to get 5 chlorine atoms here. Really, the only way to do that is to put 5 over 2 times the 2 here the twos will cancel out, that'll give us five. So this is the balanced equation for KMnO4 plus HCl. These are the correct coefficients in terms of the ratio. The ratio is correct. Some teachers don't like it when we have this fraction here, but we could easily get rid of the fraction if we multiplied everything here by two. These twos would cancel out, we'd be left with a whole number, but we have to multiply all of the coefficients by two so we maintain that ratio. Let's do that. So this gives us whole number coefficients for the equation. If you wanted to write the states, they'd look like this. So that's it. That's the balanced equation for KMnO4 plus HCl. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.